remember one of them. I remember one of them. The shark okay. now does more damage. Uh, yeah, so just to give context, any additional attack range in Mana Cluster or Trio, the mage school is less. The cooldown on it at max level is at 31 seconds, 37. So very and... subtly soft and I was to get the first three inside curse of the old growth. I'm sorry, no, no. Okay, there we go. Short. That's obviously you why I said to pick it up here. That is the yes. uh, that is a big jet. Um, so yeah, uh, Dead Hero brought back to life. They brought out the defibrillator and uh, jumped into the second game. But uh, let's see if Alliance and Stars can be defibrillated because they kind of got knocked dead in that last match. It's a game which means so much this Alliance team here. If they just start the season zero and four, then I mean, it's it, it, it's sad. They're very very sad. So let's see if they can come back into this one. Oh gee though, they don't want to get another win under their belt. Look at this wrapper on Roger. He broke it. Hello, mate. How are you doing? I'm a little bit awkward. I'm going to start with that. 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 I'm going to get with that. I'm going to start around, I feel like they were preemptively making sure that protected small camp. He just threw blocking the smoke, but doing so. Nice roll the numbers and killed him off. Nice rotation there from the line. I love seeing teams just changing up the script on three bounty rooms, be it the smoke, wrong side of the map, the different path. Ten players compete. Nice. Oh, and he steps up by himself. Yeah, this is brave. This is brave. Now, they do have another blood grenade available on the other side, and they are going to throw it out. So they want to try and get the kill here. They need to get this for in range for the whirling death. And oh, I thought he had it. Thought he had it. I, I was hovering the whole time. It, it looked like he might have had the range there, but never mind. It might not have done enough damage anyway. Uh, it, was, it would have been close, but um, alas, I didn't quite feel he was in range there. So no one got the lane, and uh, still a pretty rough start to the lane for no one who now has to lane on no HP at all. Uh, still has those tangos coming out. So. I even went for it. Kind of wild, you know. You, maybe you expect them to be greedy and provide. I've got the kill, so you go. Oh, you'll be scared. Oh, well, you miss 100% of the bounty you don't go for. That's my motto. <laughs> Terrible motto. <laughs> so, I have had too many ranked games, but like, I get this one play. It's like, we didn't get the bounty room. It's over. It's like, oh, brother. Chill. It's like, we're two for two. It doesn't matter. It's like, I need the third one to buy my flight stuff. Like, oh, what, bro? You don't need that. What are you? Why are you planning for this? <laughs> yeah, what? Are you... <laughs> it's like you have an idea you have. So far, yeah, I think went to Wyvern. In the middle, it's going to be about a spam. Bodying him is quite the thing. I think it's quite a level lane as well. I mean, what goes maybe for Dagger? She's holding her point. And if someone can go for like two points to go, it could be too much damage for the Winter Wyvern to deal with. He has 54 damage, no real stat to his name, so... I'd be interested to see if Toxin does go for that. It's a very incredible stuff. One thing that's always confused me is that, um... Queen of Pain is a very weird hero thematically, right? Like, obviously, you know, Star Traverse made to torture people and, you know, do naughty things to steal a life force from men, right? That's kind of the vibe, but... Why are, like, two out of three of the Queen of Pain's damage spells about screaming, you know? Is that... 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 Oh, okay. Alright. You know, I like that. Let's go. You should do some creative writing. I'm reaching. Repent. I don't think I should. Listen closely, you can hear... I like screaming with their 0 and 3 right now from top oh usage. Annoying guy, but that's it, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of content on how this uh, this weapon started off the lane. We'll see if they'll able to keep that going throughout the laning phase, I imagine. Uh, this, this <laughs> Roger, do you want the ward? Oh, oh, there we hey. go. <laughs> it was a challenge, but we got there. Oh, and then find it. Do absolutely nothing in it. Unle other than killing hands. Spirit Breaker is Charged. not that good of a hero. Oh, 
Wade will be in a good spot. He'll be able to click Charlie. He'll be the nuisance. So if Kitrex absent, Seb will be able to truly have a great. You know, every time you grab Spirit Break, you've got yourself, get yourself an OP laner to lane him with. So that you know he's the, you're not just going to absolutely throw one of your lanes in. Makes a profit. Since the beginning of time, he's always been a fan of uh, this game. It's exactly what they needed. So, you know, even, if, even if it hadn't been buffed, I still think there's a possibility they, they could have considered it. But uh, now it's really kind of put the nail on the. Uh, from the there's a double wave. I didn't catch how it was created, but Nature's Prophet with a double wave into a level two while the guy's got the rotation. That's big. Thompson going down to the middle lane. Holy smokes. Oh, the Hanskin was likely going down here as well. Ooh, Ooh Stomp is out. My grenade does connect. There's a dead front. The Golden Prince jump right here will be able to do exactly that. It tracked up to go to plus grenade. And that's going to be a nice little pick off here on the top side for Ulti as they continue to crash the Charlie Day. He needs to get through some creeps, but yeah, the Courier dead. Creeps just kind of paddling away at him. He's just kind of going almost all the way into the next as well. So. I don't know to see us to do this, but it's pretty well though. Could have been a lot worse for Charlie there. He was able to poke and prod and get at least a couple of the valuables. I was expecting it to be a lot worse. Covering such a weird double lane. But luckily, we didn't miss it on stream. We did see Foxen die to the rotation of tech. To my other... My question is maybe 2.5 to be a number of the serve. Winter Wyvern, it's not. The Winter Wyvern spam of Arctic Burn, it, it... You rarely see it, but Queen of Pain is the one getting fully bullied. Yeah, runs over. Really, like uh, I mean, the rotation from the techies helps out as well. But even before then, he really wants to wipe and show in the middle lane. And look yeah. at this, yes, it's Up twenty-three for nine, a sixteen and five. Yeah, this is. Now, next one going to kill bottom. Yeah. yeah. And to be fair, I feel like Alliance is pretty upstate in their laning phase, at least in the couple games that I've seen. But they rarely make it to the region of what's happening. <laughs> Later, unfortunately. Uh, yes. Charlie, the stomp's gonna come through and keep him safe for now, so he is gonna be able to get himself back. But yeah, two out of three lanes, gone in the way of Alliance. Definitely good, but this top lane it is in the old Isha. He drafted for it though. We'll see what happens if this kid is able to spill over to some other lanes and have some impact there. Could definitely use him in mid. And a lucky ring picked up there for the top lane. He went bottom on two heroes in Alliance, which allowed him to go grab the. Uh, Okay, it might not help at all actually, but the, the uh, techie here has got a little bit early on the blast, got pod load. That is a big mistake, which gets Thompson out of there. Blunder, but a blunder nonetheless here, Thompson. Very happy still didn't have this guy there. Roger comes on oh, through. Oh so. no, now the return kill as well. We went from a small misplay from Ponlo, turned out to be a massive, massive. Him, and then really puts Thompson in the now fighting position. In fact, he's looking to make it out of one of the You know, you know, you know, you know, you That's the kind of thing that happens. You do get a little kill on the pitch back up to the top side. It's uh, repaid. It was the mood. Oh, wow. So that's coming out for this one as well. They're really trying to fight for this. Oh, no, there's the one who's able to pick it up, but maybe it's not too good. Oh, he's going to hit it as well. What the hell? Where'd he go? Look, stuff happening. Like, whilst we're seeing the wizard room, S4 gets another kill onto no one. Of course, once the Timber hits level 6 plus, Chakram, behind the slow, yeah. Stuff, yeah, S4, he, he's coming to play in this second game. They, they need to. They need to, you know, to the third game. The tower is oh. under attack. Lose boys, come on. That's what's been happening so far. Doing incredible stuff then once again. I wonder how much in the head they're like, right, okay, we get an advantage now. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I think I've been saying about Alliance for a while though. They, they have to get out uh, in the middle lane. They have to collapse a point in here. Get track. It's all about him trying to find a bit of rotation for the He does do that, but Thompson is going to die in response. On low, he gets a bit of a bit. Roger, TP's away. 
it's not even good looking anything. Well, other than that, one of the best. You know what? I might even go far as saying the second note. <laughs> the best. Dyer, well, cut to a replay now. No reaction. That's why I did that. I, I knew it would go for a replay. Look, I'm, I'm not ranking observes. I'm never doing that, okay? They're all, they're all, they're all the shared goats, and I would never Radiant place one of them on there. He's a real, a real force behind the uh, the Dota scene, as everyone knows. Is now active. Oh, they are the man. They yeah, do dictate yeah. yeah. which is the OG the event, which uh, says get the gigs. Mm -hmm. And you have to, uh, to know it. They know what I'm saying. top tower is in danger. There is little Silence is the default of the town plants. Everything to us. Eager to know. The player being taken down by Mr. Service Thompson. Ooh, look at the Charlie here, but not quite connecting on that one. And, uh, yeah, he'll earn himself a bit of a top tip for that one. Gibson. No reward there. That was just one of those... That hype played where he hit the screen his name. He does and it's like, ah, classic. Charlie. Are blind, or...? Mmm. Yeah, there was, there's no observer, so he probably saw Radiant's him rotate over there. He's uh, attack. Doesn't have scan, so. Yeah. Oh, he scanned it, yeah, he does scan. I, I, I did. See? I, I said scan before he highlighted it, so. Oh, me. Yay! Another, another dub for script. I mean, it's kind of hype, though. I think you don't see a lot of scan plays get highlighted, but it's so cool when they hit. You know? I feel like I wish scan was more apparent in regards to like the viewing experience. Radiant has your scan or something. It's very passive for the tool, and it's so important. Radiant should not do that. I was saying, your scan has been used. People would respect it more. People that send No, no, no. I mean, it's just for like the oh, us right. and the viewer. Oh, I see. I don't mean for in game. Uh, hell no. I want that to be. Well, well, well. Um, all the lines have done in this early game. Yeah, they have to secure a few kills and all G to kind of uh, mitigate the It's mostly on the back tip, so apparently standing out for me as a high impact player. And yeah, the fight getting tough, but Charlie has really been having a pretty rough start to this one. Both the carries really not looking like how they want to on the net worth chart at the moment, so it's all about the impact they can pull off on the other roles to open up the map and give their, their players a bit more of the game. I have to be said, from playing from behind, who are you kind of feeling is the is a better character? Probably have to be worth it. I think that I've been used to really enjoy the fight, whilst more things always chasing the next like where it's like twenty five spells. Yeah, maybe I need the ag. When you get ag, it's like I can fight, but then I just kind of want to retreat. What's worth doing? Master, if you have level 12, joining every fight you want. Oh, I like it's doing a great job of pressing this map. Taking away the mid tower, S4 already taking bulky towers, taking it to a little bit. Taking the work for now, 6,000 gold. Weeping it first. Now they move across the pond low as well. So they get on top of the techies and it's gonna be another kill going to all both be here. This is their fight. And just like that, that's how they take and sit it all starts to trickle away. What can they do in response? What is gonna be the answer? Yeah, and when you look at the ice four sides of the we have gone for the Vanguard Mana Boots build that we saw in previous because you disassembled the Ocarina. And now you can't do that. So we're intrigued to see how he uses this. Is he gonna have a new build? Is it just casual Vanguard? Is he planning on just going for the Crimson Guard? It doesn't really matter. That's gonna be another two spirit vessel charges for uh, Seth. I mean, this profit is, is, is just owning at the moment, and this vessel is hot. It's super hot. Um, going on over the side of the alliance. The seeds of fortune. Mm. Who needs to make a move at some point, though? The kills are going to get. Nolan would obviously be a pretty important one to pick off. 
especially picking up the mouth frame. This is when words are really start to accelerate into the game. Seb was, was well, you mentioned it, but he up the vessel and he's got pets currently up in his quick. So that would be quite a wild set of itemization because it literally goes ATP in, ATP morphing, it will fully remove the pets plus the vessel. Even the Timber Sword. Timber Sword is a hero that likes to continue getting in front of your face. So if he does continue to go down this route, it would be kind of obnoxious. But to get there is a lot of downtime in the when you're kind of playing where you would expect, well, where you might expect Muerta to be, uh, maybe a couple of minutes ago, but Alliance, they're going to look into the air, do a little bit of fishing, and uh, send a little time to rub a shoulder support instead of a big ticket kill, so. Game slowly but surely. Get trapped. Even escape plan here, it does actually find it. Oh, I spawn. Go zoomies. Yep. All the way across into the enemy jungle. And he is gone. Big fan of Kit Tractor item as well. You need to go for face hits because against tr like Tranquils and all these other movement, it has affected the potential hit. He has gone for an unconventional build. Um, with the three points charge, two points bash, that is going to be a first two second early on the uh, but if they don't find this kill that never mind that they will top some turns up as well for this one and once again charge on that vessel it's such an important thing to keep an eye upon quite connect with that ah it's fine keep track of the guard and the shotgun to finish the job alliance will make a trade yeah this is alliance being pretty deep so those are like getting here a little bit more valuable than the kills which uh, Oji are getting here we're just making the call to a Rocher. Saw the pins on the minimap, and whilst all the chaos is occurring bottom, he's mm. got the army. That's the, the Alpha Wolf, the Double Dark Troll Summoner. He has pinged his water to join him. And what, what joins him real good. I love it when Off the boys go. turn up and Roger's always looking for him. look at Chance, there was nothing to be done. The techies goes down, but he's going to get as well. Uh, okay, trying to help out here. Transition, a little bit of damage to take that for the reason that he's in the front One will take control of his fight, but S4 taking some heavy hits here. No one does not have that ultimate available. So won't be able to rip these things to quite yet. Won't be able to maybe hold the top side. Hopefully, he's going to go to his tower and get a penalty two shots away. They have no ultimate, no additional control off the up there. Charlie's good. Hello, hello. Uh, the supports on OG right now are really good in the face of this game. Kit Track is enabling the aggression from the cores. You got Roger farming up a storm. Even the one to go to Rosham. Yeah, they are doing all the motions necessary to get to the item that needs it to get themselves into the game. And you've mentioned the Moor to build a couple times during the draft. No one, he's going for it. With the Dragon Lance Maelstrom, that Moon Shard is queued up. And they're already got He's got really good left. You want your clear to be as high as possible every time you get a level point in the ult, which goes up by 50, duration by a second. Yeah. If you can get to a level 18 and a moon shard, you're going to be clicking through people like no tomorrow. Yeah, and I talked about uh, Mighty's health being dumped on, but the, shot, uh, sorry, the veil was the one thing which has been time and time again. And this thing now gives you 100 bonus attack damage at level 12, and yeah, as you're saying, it's so strong at level 18, it's just a ridiculous amount of damage to be pumping out. Get yourself a moon shard and you're just going to be clicking fools left friends. And to add not to mention more procs on your gun sliver as well. Just for enemies. Attack speed is so, so valued. So, yeah, I love this build and um, it's like all of them I guess 
maybe like after a BKB or like one more item, but Shard is something not to joke about as well. Like you get life still, 30%, 2% spell out for every kill you obtain, like it's Yeah, it's nutty. You can you can get pretty nutty on this game. Right. After the dominant laning phase, only Timber Sword Death in the triangle, even though he's top net worth it. Does cause him to think a little bit more defensively. They've got excellent cat from the side of Lions or Chase, I should say. Oh, gee, looking for a bit of response to stop, though. Yeah, they could need some usage. Big catches from Alliance here, beautiful moves across the map, they get two big four kills. Oh. Well, they got four kills, but not crazy with the gold score, we saw that. It's going to be going away of Alliance, so overall net change about 8,900 gold. How about with the wide and the most? But save the lines and the game, but for Alliance, if anything, it's hope that OG can't Kill off, kill off the kill. He can survive a little bit of aggression. Once Charlie's big enough of a hero to join a fight, to correct people. Even if the questions start getting asked towards the uh, you know, how they need to get to the fight, sorry, that's when they get to the you need to charge. Why does Winter Wyvern need to get you're locking down Winter Wyvern? You have the resources for the morphing. I'm not too comfortable because this game goes later. I think they're doing that too. To that stage, it's just at some point. Oh, Jesus, gonna the game's gonna get crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just gonna get nutty at some point. Um, but then also, you know, Alliance they are fighting for ages and they're doing very well at it. That is something to say. They're, they're surviving yep. through it, and you know, started, started the game with the puddle, got destroyed again. Um, trying to come back into it, and now, well, he's turning into a late. One day, he wants to be an ocean. We make it there. Uh, uh, Excellent play into the ages there from the Lions and they make us make the most of 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 the like this draft easily could have had bigger grasp on the game, I thought, but yeah. Alliance have all it out quite nice. I mean, as always, when you're playing into a team with global potential, which you definitely have in a Spirit Breaker, the thing's just profit, and then enough will throw together a nice. Queen of Pages and a nice. Mobile on top of that, the you know, potential is going to slip out of Alliance's hands, it's absolutely huge, so. You know, they've really recovered from game one, you know, they, they haven't got it lost, uh, like kind of lost themselves in, in despair just yet. So that's good to see. But still a lot of Dota 2 players in this game. But maybe that mountain is more of a hell of a moment. So far, they've got their iPad. Alliance is in the mind of a carry. Different though, one. Anyone can see the mind of a carry. Off land on an Aegis for free. Cute up Moonshot. Like with the Aegis. Oh, this Moonshot, that's too much, alright? I'm gonna go back to BKB. Like, if he didn't go for the yeah. Typer Stone, it would have been. And uh, yes, Roger did get this charge, correct? Yes, from Polo did get charge, yep. Um, thank you, thank you. That's good, that's good. Um, that's good. I was gonna mention it after me. You're disappointed in that. I'm not expecting like that. She's fine. He, he's, he's, he's the main ambassador, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's a nice job. That's good. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the problem with no one this game, though, is that, like, 
pop that off, yeah. and what's gonna happen to you? S4 has the Agonis and Toxic has the Agonis too. Agnes too. You happy now, Zagriff? You happy? <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was pointing out, but I was gonna test more and see what happened if I didn't do what he uh, said. Yeah, so he's gonna have to him, don't worry. Just do Yeah, but the more he does this, the more T-Tours he gets. Yeah, about the action. Suddenly. <laughs> Yeah. 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 It'll make you feel better about not getting stomped in the face, Dyer's which is very, very important. Not that happy, either, by the way, which is actually just as important as a stomp, so you need a BKB. I was still expecting the, uh, the Moonshot to come out first, and just come a bit too with the Moonshot. In the game, got a little bit too Rory, no G's perspective. See that? Looks like S4, he's picked up the Sagadim. There isn't a dispel right now on old G. You deal with the Sagadim. I'll do that Roger with the neutral creep, so we pick one up, get rid of the reactive armor. That is going to be pretty important. I don't know if he actually has one available right now. No, he doesn't. If I see through this great amount of creeps, no, clearly he doesn't. They're ready to get that. They are in position. I right, shouldn't be giving this away for free, but it's going down so quickly. Really I think we are. Don't they're going to make it here in time. Alliance, they're running over. They, they don't have any coats. They don't have any coats. They don't have that available to them, which means the Aegis is going to be claimed by the side of those two. Cheese on top of it as well. Alliance, they don't make it well in time. But that's the Aegis. Alliance, they're going to get off the side. Alliance, they're going to get off the side. Incredibly good. I think, unfortunately, for, for Alliance, it was yes. too slow to contest Roshan. The supports instantly died at the start of the fight, and then Dyer's like, bottom break is left. one v one in this timber saw. Everyone else was retreating. Everyone potentially could have kept the Aegis alive if he hit his uh, if he hit his stun. Unfortunately, the dead shot did miss, uh, which killed him off in the end. But so, uh, so careful. They have all the spells. They have all the items to be able to take the fight. But, you give away a free Aegis, and when you have to use your curse just to buy from more to open it, you are going to be losing these engagements. A little bit dive up. Oh, 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 Bruce, that OG are always in the that opportunity. It's going to be sneaking away a rush on our wall. Then he doubles down on his assassin style of play. That's into heck to Shadow Blade. He really just wants to try and delete it here at the start of the fight. Yep. I would and by that, I mean. He's going to be the character. He himself isn't doing all the damage. He will just be saying, guys, I found one guy. Blink from the quad, charge from the barrow, then you enter the He is the initiation with all. It's a, yeah, a very interesting build based on, I guess, appearance. They don't have that traditional front line built within their draft. The every, all, all their heroes want to play on the fringe of the. Three break will charge three. Or to run cops on a kind of float Rebeat. around the engagement. Oh, so, under attack. credit to Seb, he has itemized to deal with what his draft is like. Indeed. I'm really interested to see how these, like, there's so many ways you Didn't affect the screen or anything, kind of, but it was just a little bit less damage on the shadow spread itself. Didn't have to get the shadow spread itself, and he's got the shadow spread itself. 
Ultimate Bucket to unleash on these heroes, but are it's challenge. There we go. He got shot in the face by a magical bullet. I wasn't ready for that one at all. Looking for a little bit more. That's a reactive taser, of course, for some of the more but not really rinsing S4 at the moment, so. Oh, we're back. Hold up, back in. Not over. Set up one back, one hit. Okay, now what does this scout do? Seth does the killing. Positioning is so key in this. Oh, jeez. Throw in a body. Oh, he's gonna burn. I don't think he's going to do pretty good amount of damage. Once again, Shadow Maiden 3. Ooh, the 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 Went to one and a half HP. In there. Yeah. Unpredictable madness, but OGR able to capitalize on it. And the amount of damage no one does do is like Charlie. Got him zero. Went from a bit back and forth. Eight minutes to go. Alliance in the lead. Now not not again. Not again. Not again. They can't keep getting away with it. But uh, you got You got to say. I mean, the Alliance in us. It's, it's not entirely all G playing exceptionally well. Alliance have made a couple of mistakes here and there. I think definitely looking at Charlie in that last fight as well. You know, you can't put yourself in the position where you're going to kill you off because it, it is unexpected, right? Like, you kind of know your strength level is morphing at any given point in the game, but when this parry hero just suddenly starts firing out map damage and you're high at G, you're, you're, you're in like three shot territory. Considering where to can double shot with, with Gunslinger, that quickly becomes two shot territory. And, Position's planes, a tough matchup. He, I guess the issue for Alliance now at this point is where is their simplified approach to the game? It's like, where's the point in click to to make a slow build up to stop an else or after from a techie? And if this first gets you, my god, the team fights disappeared. So for Alliance, they just need to be respectful of that within their lineup. They need to offer themselves engagements under the warp, under their own smoke. Take the pace. But if OG are the ones being in and out and doing all this stuff, they're going to easily tank it up. I reckon we can tank it with a bulldoze spot from her entire life, but it is difficult. I start feeling the repercussions. No real control now. Poor thing, he does have to start it. So, Scardi, a gem, a Lincoln, the mind of I'm thinking about oh, the smoke in the own spot, but in, yeah, in the meanwhile, you didn't see the driver get deleted. Yeah, it's been amazing seeing a star there from OG, honestly. <laughs> so you just need that one. Do you know how Seb bought like this hex, this vessel, and he's like, let me push my team forward item? What our lines are missing, right? They're missing that one guy. Like, all right, our draft doesn't have stuns. And let me just build that a little so so to help us out. Run, 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 yeah, difficult. Can you sort of actually go for him? Like, vision for himself, it's actually high. Ag. There's no hero who can really do the gap in draft game here. Yeah, every team needs a gooey player. What will your fight be in the afterlife? Diamond's bottom tower has fallen. Really just the it just feels like they're outmaneuvering a lot across the map. Like they're making better plays, they're making better moves, they're getting bigger kills. Like just, every time they go for something, OG have already made a move, they've already made a counter play. It, it just feels like it's really hard. You mentioned this about their draft earlier on, that it's going to be a hard one to execute. It looked like Alliance were going to be able to pull that off, and then they played through the first ages so damn well. There's really a lot of confidence, though, to have the ability to kind of play the draft to the maximum, but one or two mistakes, and it feels like the confidence is just gone. There's also, like, I feel like with these drafts, 
you, you see it as a viewer, that they are a mistake prone lineup. They make those mistakes, the game will get different. Oh, like, sure. Let's throw our bodies in. Things go wrong, who cares? Because at some point, it's your face has to be able to break the game. So you can kind of feel that's how they play, right? It's a game. No one's trading this Aegis top, but the standing of at some point we're going to get it. Kit track gets the shard this time around. Big shard. He can soak up the Winter's Curse, be the main primary target. He can help out Sean, he might try it, but he is next to keep that hero alive needed. Guys, not many points, but it's not better than. Observer? I don't know, what's oh, the Wyvern got it though, man. Oh, Yay. yeah. Wyvern got it. <laughs> <laughs> We're currently tailoring the audience to the three year olds in chat. Nah, nah, Dyer's that's just not. This is not the most right. smart individuals. Cool, Charlie on the run down. <laughs> 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 his life and it means that Thompson gets away a heartbreaking series of events for the side of alliances that's just gonna put them in such a bad position about the fuck you and you in particular item literally set now sitting on three single target items along with a silver edge as well incredible control incredible damage done and Thompson mentioning how he will the brain but he doesn't have a They're really making a nice bottom going. How can we deal with this Titan Sliver and Thank you for that. They the pool with their Roshan tools and the play they made. I feel like you mentioning like Roshan Lines and they did great up in Roshan. The upper they just made a the game. I'm holding. Yeah, they just the burn Up and eventually you'll hit something. Alright, it is all G now. Much to lay out that high ground. I'm not sure about the Dust Death Spirit Breaker, but at the very least, just want to keep the lines and start the pace. Finally, no one completed his move out. Hooray! <laughs> He's been holding on to this. He's been tossing it down and he's been going for the Mjolnir, maybe going back and. It was like a second slash third item moonshine, then he's got the rear edge to a fourth, then he got the rear edge to a fifth, then he's like, I'll just go back and grab a keep the silver edge and finish up my hair. Okay, alright, now. But now he's online. Now we're each old gonna win. He's around. 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 Just do what he wants in the back of my head. Number one. 
They've got no one to tank up that damage on the front lines, and they will just be just like that. Oh, no one! Aggressive! Moving in! I even pop in mid to bail to this, but, um... They're running away. Alright, you know what? He went fishing. Some days, he used half the iron when he went Lincoln, Ooh, so uh, able to okay. through that. Yeah, pop the yeah. screw onto no one, sir. So. Oh, well. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Lincoln 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 So what goal do you run at allies? So it's like... Yeah, actually the graph would love to be represent that as well. At the 21 minute mark, it's like kind of even, then it's like all the way old G. Yeah, we really just took the game by storm. But yeah, it's... And that's the thing, like I don't have the whole, you know, when Alliance was ahead last game, I kind of... Oh, my heart and my mouth somewhat, as I was like just kind of scared of like, waiting and I just don't... I feel like old G kind of make those same mistakes and I don't know what it is because on paper, you know, Alliance are good at playing that kind of checkbox, like the, they seem to know what they should be doing, but then something terrible always happens to them and old G, you know, it's, it feels like they're more malleable. Oh, also, I feel like some lineups you look at, you realise they are to blunder. They've got two or three built into their draft. You've got the heroes that play a wider map to these moves. The Lions, at least. As soon as you lose grip on this game, what Nature's Prophets over eight percent like all these heroes will just break in seconds. The entrance tells all their own toolkit. None like the seeds of the Lions have anything. In game one and two, they've been battling with pushing up waves. More than they've been battling uh, old G. Yeah. Proper team fighters. Logi really had the numbers. I wish they had a lot of liquid from Logi here, so definitely can't condone that. They're even loading like clarity halfway down the middle lane. It's just clean up after yourself, guys. Yeah. I imagine we're going to be looking at a uh, fourth Roshan here, in which Logi are after to, uh, to look to finish that one up, uh, provided the lines don't give them any entries. They've already got it set up. Observer is there, but the no team... Ready, yeah. Yeah, not ready. There we go, heart complete on the quad. Go for the shield attack. It's going to be a gig attack. Screw going to the Lincoln himself, so... Three Lincolns. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Fine, what? in a bit of trouble, but Lion's holding Dyer's the back ties bolt deep now. Every time we look at it, it's getting poked through. Another man back to base, getting the fountain. Three gens. The slam. Boom. Oh, I'm kicking the way out of here. Look at it. Here we go. One Legion, two Legion. You've got the first one to boot. Lincoln to four heroes, okay son. Why not? Why not? So yeah, I'm gonna be fine way for half to do it. So it is I'm gonna keep the contact and get him to the entire enemy team and not give a shit about it. 
any minute if he turns it up. Devastating for us. Let's go come back here again. It's 32,000 now. Probability by 44% right now. Maybe even 3. Yeah, the thing else that I'm pushing for, the moment that curve gets used. Oh, yes, I'm gonna rate! Wow. Alliance got that cast from someone that isn't worth it. She is, she is hurricane typing into that fight. She's got the KP, she's got the Pierce of Bale. And nothing's gonna stop that. There, there is, there is nothing they can do on the lands if, if they waste. Motion. Has respawned. Alright. Oh, it is up. It is available. It's available. Oh, Approved and after them. In a second. It is. TP's away. <laughs> None leaves it. And TP's looks and like the there we go. Okay. to the engine. Yep. And wait for it. Alright, place your bets. Where's it going next? Go and rush. I'm going if I'm going to push it. Oh, it's oh, away! It's away! Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm going to push it. 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 I reckon the axe like be this high. For me? No. Oh, God. Okay, that's fair. Better than the previous Undive the Undive. Uh, yeah. Some roots. So, the worst of them to pop off in. I like it, I like it. Don't forget, actually, you can see what a second first item for Nature's Profit. Free patch. Well, not the patch, but like 37.33 at least, so. On top of this, uh, Yes, I can. Good lady. 